But really what you were getting at with, with the um, socialism and like free markets and how they can combine, this is the irony of here. This is what's so crazy. It's almost a paradox. The ideas that make you be a socialist, you get if you have a truly free market and everybody opts in. But socialist as a political system is based on violating property rights to force some to do some things at the expense of others. And generally, it's just top down enforcement and it's hard to get in and out of your country and like maybe you're born there or whatever. So like those are all violations of property rights because if it was like, okay, we're going to be a socialist country. This is how we're going to run it. But anybody can come and go. And the second you don't agree with our, our rules or laws, you just leave and you go pay tax somewhere else, go do whatever. And that is the sovereign individual thesis. That's, that's basically government should compete for us based on the products and services they provide, right? So if we had it, so the whole world was a bunch of states, governments, whatever, and they were all competing for every global citizen as they should, because no country owns a human, no state owns a human. I don't care if they're born there or not, which again, a violation of property law. If we had that, then you could have a place that you might say, we're going to be more socialist so that if you come here, you pay 50% in taxes. But this is what you get for that. As long as that citizen can leave and go willingly, then it's actually not even really socialism. It's just a contract. It's just an agreement with a service provider. The I problem with do. socialism is it is, again, it's based on like, we'll force you to pay a certain amount and then we'll dole it out the way we want or a small select group wants. And then we'll talk about how it's equality for all, even though it's really equality for like everybody that's not elite, right? So, or, or it's equality for the elite, not everybody else. So the ideas that attract you to socialism are human ideals. It's, it's communism, it's communal sharing, you know, it's, how humans evolved in the wild. We were small groups. Everybody thought the same. We shared resources. There was no, there was not even an idea of personal property. That's where it's funky here. And this is also why we get all the problems because we had a break from personal property with the advent of economies and money and things like that. And I think the world's better. I think it's, I think it's a necessary step in our evolution because if we lived still small tribes, like we wouldn't have iPhones. We wouldn't be doing a podcast right now. Like we wouldn't be evolving and getting to space and doing all the things that we're going to do uh, you know, in the future, which is going to be amazing, right? So we're going through this rough patch of like 10 to 15,000 years. And then I think we're going to just like have massive abundance. Like when we can basically escape gravity on earth, cost effectively, mine asteroids, colonize other planets, <laughs> like the universe is big enough. So everybody can live like rich Kings, for, 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 like hundreds of trillions of humans, if we wanted to. Right. So then you get into things like scarcity on earth and climate change and all these other things. Right. It's all based on a scarcity mindset. It's all, all based on coercion, which is a violation of property law. Instead, if we said free market, if you want to go to the state, you go there. This is what they do versus that state. You make your decision. We would actually have less human suffering, more human abundance, more childs being born and raised, like less childbirth. Like everything would be better. That's better that you want better. And everything that would be worse or everything that is worse now would also get better, maybe even eliminate completely, right? So like, if you if you are a socialist, you actually are a closet free market anarchist, yet you don't really un realize it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny way to put it. Yeah, for, for me, it was true, actually. 